The answer is the poorer the girl is, the better she will be as a wife. Let's dissect this answer here. A question was asked in a live chat. Where are the top three places to meet a long-term Filipino wife or girlfriend? As with any question with Scotty Boy, it's, it's not going to be an easy answer. I mean, people hate to hear the poorer the better. But, but on this channel, we care about the real world. How does the real world work? A lot of you know, but let me give an example. When a girl has nothing, she's willing to do whatever it takes to have something. When a girl has something, her standards increase. She's no, she's no longer willing to do anything, you know, to make her life better. I remember arriving in Korea and girls, they love me. I mean, today I'm a piece of crap. This was, this was 20 years ago. Now imagine a guy living a wor in a world where girls, they, they get within 10 feet of him and they throw up, okay? In the alternate world, the girls, they bow down to him. Which reality would you prefer to live in? So it's the exact same psychology worldwide in every country. It's human nature. Take a typical age gap relationship like one of these Dumaguete guys, okay? Now, if this girl had been born in the West, she wouldn't touch the guy with a 10-foot stick. Okay, so the question this guy had in live chat is, where are the top three places to meet a good long-term relationship? I can't tailor this answer to the guy who asked the question because I don't know much about you. I mean, if you're into tennis, then join three tennis clubs in Manila. That would be the answer to the question. But let's tailor the question in a different direction. I'll just make it a general assessment based on my own point of view. Let's assume you want a girl who is a little on the younger side, okay? Hey, I mean, you may be 60 and you want a 60-year-old babe. Well, good for you. But in the fills, it's not the usual thing when it comes to foreigners and Filipinas. So let's stick to the obvious age gap that a lot of guys are into. Now, first thing you got to do is find the babe. Now, you want her to be a bit younger. You want her to look good. You want her to basically take care of you. I mean, unless you're the kind of guy who enjoys doing laundry. When I was on a dating site, I put in my profile that if she has aspirations to become a professional, you know, anything, then I'm probably not the guy for you. Because the thing is, if she works, it's going to be like an all day, six days a week. She's not going to make much dough. So, I mean, what does that leave me? I mean, what's in it for me? You know, my dad got remarried and uh, he says he just likes the woman's touch in the house. The woman just takes care of things and keeps them orderly. Something my dad would never care enough to make the effort to do. So he found a good woman. So I live by myself and I have, you know, I have one mug, one bowl, and things are just kind of all over the place. It's just how I roll if I'm alone. I keep things simple. I, I just don't want to make, I would like to have a nice orderly house, but I'm just not willing to do the work to make that happen. I'm just not motivated to do it. But if I lived with a woman, she would make sure things are kind of, you know, Orderly, like how they were when I was a kid growing up. I mean, my, my four pain in the butts in life are cleaning the house, grocery shopping, cooking, laundry. If I married, I would expect uh, she takes care of this. You know, I don't want a nanny. Now that said, I mean, in terms of what I want, let me put that into perspective, okay? I had a coworker about 10 years ago. I asked her, what is your biggest turnoff in a guy? She said, boldness. So about three years after I asked this question, okay? So I hadn't seen her in a long time. I'm in a bar in Seoul and I see her walking by with her boyfriend. They're getting married and the guy's bald, okay? So I went out, I greeted them anyway, I met them. So I messaged her later. I said, I remember you said you don't like bald guys. She said, yeah, but I mean, everything else about him is great. So I make this statement about what I prefer in a girl, but the reality is I might fall in love with a, a, a nurse who works seven days a week. And then, for example, you might meet me in the future and say, hey, you made a vid a while ago. You said you prefer a jobless poor babe who does all the housework. And I say, yeah, but you know, I fell in love with this girl. What can I do? I mean, I know a guy, he was single. And he, he would not date a girl who had a kid, okay? He ended up marrying a single mom. So life is not so black and white like we think. We have our preferences, but they change. So that said, let's get to the point here, okay? Time to answer the goddamn question here. So to this guy, okay? To this guy, this mysterious guy who's looking for a long-term wife here, okay? Now, I'm going to assume you want a babe who's not going to nag you. Some guys, they want a girl uh, who's got a good sense of humor. Uh, another guy wants a girl who's interested in the same kind of music. 
music. Myself, I just want a girl who's going to sort of take care of the house. Now, your obvious answer from, you know, a leftist maybe is going to be like, oh, you don't want a wife, you want a nanny. No, I want a wife. I mean, that's how things used to be. Anyway, the answer to this guy is like this, okay? Let's get down to business here, people. Go as far outside the city as possible. Post a job near a busy area, you know, on a window, on a sorry, sorry store, you know, wherever, wherever you post this job. You put nanny wanted. Message me at this number or at this Facebook. Girls will message you and you ask them for a pic. The pic is basically their resume because there's nothing really to the job. Can you cook adobo? Yes. Can you sweep the floor? Yes. So you go, you go, you meet the girl, you go, you meet her, you know, make sure she looks like her actual pick, whatever, you know, make sure kind of girl you can get along with. So you go meet her, you bring her back to your place and you start sweeping together. And we can sweep together, sleep together. You want me to sleep with you? I don't want to sweep alone. She says, oh boy, love to. Look, so here you got a young, pretty babe, assuming that's what you're into. She's poor. She's willing to work. She's not afraid of a foreigner. She's not going to argue with you about whatever, drinking or whatever. After she's in your house, let nature take its course. You got good wife material on your hands. The interesting thing about this question is, I mean, you could ask a hundred guys and get a hundred different answers. But I mean, I think the answer the guy in the live chat really wanted was, and I'm sorry, I, 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 I forgot who did ask the question, but I think the real answer he wanted was more of a like a city, an actual city in the Philippines of where to go or an actual location. So, I mean, if it's me, if I'm if I'm going to give you sort of man to man advice, I would say go to Leyte, go to Samar, because these places are that that's why there's recruiters there recruiting girls to go to Angeles. They go to Angeles as simple, innocent girls who just want to send money home to their family. Now, they turn, you know, corrupted by being in Angeles for a long time. But the girls there are good. They are going to treat you well. They're going to do the cooking and cleaning, you know. You're going to take care of the money. She's going to take care of the house. And as far as I'm concerned, in my own opinion, that really is the best kind of relationship. You know, the husband is the strong, silent type. The woman sort of takes care of the family. Those are really the families that, I mean, in my experience... I've seen with, you know, my aunt and uncle. And uh, it's it's kind of like that. And it just everything works perfectly for them. That's what I've witnessed. In my opinion, if you want to find a good wife, long-term girl, you want to get these girls who are just very humble because that's how they were raised. And uh, I hope that does answer the question. If it doesn't answer the question, I'd be happy to uh, make it more specific. But the thing is, like, if you're into babes who play tennis, like I said, Make a list of three tennis clubs. If you're into babes who are into art, join an art college. Find some babe Rooney who's there. Adios, my good friends. If anyone has any questions they want put into a vid, okay, put those suckers down below, my good friends. Till next time, I will see you on the next live stream.